hi welcome back to my youtube channel it's such a pleasure to have you watch today's video i am um i'm speaking on your relationship with money as a christian the number one thing i want to clarify so quickly is that money is not the root of all evil first timothy chapter 6 verse 10 scripture clearly states for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil and some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows people crave money because they have the love of money and money is not a problem but the love they attach to money becomes the problem money on its own is a tool sometimes this could be talked about in christendom as if god is against you being rich as if god is against you having money as if god is against you being wealthy and it makes it look like we are propagating a poverty message as if preaching the gospel is equated to poverty but that is not the god we serve if Jesus could feed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fishes, he tells you how prosperous God is. It should be consistent if God wants us to be poor. It should be very, very consistent. But that is not God's idea. It is just an idea that we throw out of the fears as human. It is very clear that the love of money is the problem. And money is just a tool to be used. The love of money is not about rich people because it could look like when you are rich, then you have the love of money. And it could also look like when you are poor, then you don't have any problem with the love of money. That could be a big lie. And when you watch that video that I put up there on that card, I think it's going to give some clarity because I talked a lot about that in context. But the love of money is actually about greed. So which means a rich man can be greedy and a poor man can also be greedy. And if you really check most times, poor people become the most greedy people and they get to have some money out of their greed and never get satisfied. And now they become the rich people who are greedy because they did not just get greedy when they became rich. They were already greedy and they kept hoarding money and cheating people till they got the money and became the rich people that we see and they still continue being greedy. This means that greed is not about your status of I'm poor, I'm rich. It is a state of the heart. It is a condition of the heart that needs to be checked and changed if somebody wants to say, okay, I don't want to be a greedy person again. I want to be a generous person. Instead of being greedy, I'll start being generous, not generous to get people to like me, not generous with strings but generous because I don't want money to have a hold on me. This also will have you know is that God is not against you having money. God is not against you being rich. God is not against you being wealthy, but God is against money having you. And when you are trading the path of the love of money, becoming greedy, which means you love money. And this is an unhealthy relationship because money is a tool, just like a carpenter would love his tool, which is like his hammer. I says, I love my hammer. Your hammer cannot love you back. That is just a tool to be used. And if you use it the way it is, you will not have any issue with it. But once you put love towards it, it means even spending your money to do good, to help people, and for yourself could even be hard because you are trusting in money, you are loving money. And that's why Christ said, you can't love God and love mammon, which is money, and be greedy. You cannot serve two masters. So if God is not your master, because money has a lot of power, if you do not, trust god you might end up being in this other line of being greedy because you feel like god is not faithful you feel like god cannot provide for you that is the essence of greed let me grab and grab and grab and grab and cheat people because i don't think that god can provide for me it's a wrong place to be in the mind so your relationship with money should change for you to know this is a tool that i get to use which means i heard a pastor say don't love money and hurt people use money to help people it is a thing to actually embrace that you are not supposed to come to a place that oh all i want to get is money 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 that you get all the money and you can't even help someone too greedy that you cannot lift a pin for someone christ does not want you to have such a relationship with money and also a poor person that does not have is like oh when i get money my life will be fixed when i have money everything will be okay with me that's a big lie Having money does not settle all the issues you have in life. Neither will it. You will never be satisfied with getting more and more money. The more money you get, the more money you want. So it's not something that is satisfactory. That wasn't the basis for your satisfaction or fulfillment. It's only in God. Which is why I keep 
repeating the scripture scripture says seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you because it's not about these things it's about god to fulfill you to make you feel satisfied it is god not money proverbs 23 verse 4 to 5 says don't wear yourself out trying to get rich be wise enough to know when to quit in the blink of an eye wealth disappears for it will sprout wings and fly away like an eagle this is what the scripture is saying that when you run after money money can grow wings and fly which is expenses will just come and take away the, the whole thing you keep having problems running after money you have problems with your health because you can't rest well you're not healthy you're not taking care of yourself at the end of the day you are sicker than you were when you didn't even have money is it productive at the end of the day it's not and from all this you can see that i'm not trying to talk down on having money or not having money but it's in all you're having make sure that god is the foundation for everything money does make us happy yes but money cannot give us joy there's a difference between joy and happiness there's a difference between peace and happiness god gives peace god gives joy money will make you happy Money will buy things. It's just like when the Bible says, money cannot buy love in Songs of Solomon. Whatever you can do, you can use money to buy people to pretend like they love you. You can use money to keep people around until you run out of money. That's when you realize, did they really love you? Did they really care for you, for your sake or for just for you? Or they came because you had some money to spend and they wanted to come help you spend that money because you had it. Some people may not love you. They may, they may come for your money. So if you feel like your money can buy love, you are going to throw that money out and then at the end of the day, get someone who may not love you for you, but for what you can provide. And that is not even an healthy relationship. God wants us to prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. And scriptures in Hebrews 13, 5 says, don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. This clearly says, when you love money, it's you saying, I don't trust God that he will not fail me. Somehow God might fail. So let me be greedy. Let me love money. Somehow God might abandon me somehow. Maybe along the way. So let me love money. That's what you say when you get to love money. And scripture says, if you really trust God, then loving money should not be a thing that is paramount in your life. Loving materialism should not be a thing that is paramount in your life because if you know the value of your life, you know that it is beyond all these transient things that will pass away. It is beyond getting all these things. Getting these things, I'm not saying that they are not good. They are good to help life become easier. But getting it doesn't mean that that is all in life. That's all in all. So trust God and use money. And I'll repeat this again. Use money and love people instead of loving money and hurting people. Thank you for watching today's video. I am OM. Let me know in the comment section what you think about today's video. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you are yet to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And then share this video to your friends. And do not forget to check out this next video. You really need this one to understand more on this idea of the love of money and the heart behind it and the function of money itself thank you for watching see you in this next video bye bye